Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So here we have been given this circuit and here we have been asked to find this current I for the given circuit. Now if you closely observe the circuit then it is the current mirror circuit. And here we have been given that all the transistors are perfectly matched. And here we have been also given that the value of the beta is very high. That means whatever collector current that is flowing through this reference transistor, almost same current will also flow through these transistors. Now here we have been given that the voltage drop across this diode is equal to 0.7 volt. And here we are assuming that the voltage VB is equal to 0.7 volt. Now here the emitter voltage is equal to minus 5 volt. That means the voltage at the base terminal that is VB is equal to voltage VB plus VE that is equal to minus 5 volt plus 0.7 volt that is equal to minus 4.3 volt. So this will be the voltage at this node. And here since these two terminals are short circuited so the same voltage will also appear at this node. Now let's say the voltage over here is equal to VD. That means voltage VD will be equal to minus 4.3 volt plus the voltage drop across the diode that is equal to 0.7 volt. That means voltage VD will be equal to minus 3.6 volt. And let's say the current which is flowing through this 1 kilo ohm resistor is equal to I dash. So this current I dash will be equal to 0 minus minus 3.6 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 3.6 milliampere. So this current I dash is equal to 3.6 milliampere. And here since the value of the beta is very high, so we can assume that the current which is flowing through this reference transistor or this I reference is equal to I dash. That means here this I reference is approximately equal to I dash that is equal to 3.6 milliampere. And as I said almost same current will also flow through the collector of these transistors. That means the current through this collector of these two transistors will be also equal to 3.6 milliampere. That means this current I will be equal to 2 times I reference that is equal to 7.2 milliampere. So from this we can say that for the given circuit this collector current I is equal to 7.2 milliampere and hence for the given question D is the correct answer.